Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, let's discuss about workspaces in VS Code. Workspaces in VS Code are like a project containers. They will help you to group the folders which are part of your project and apply custom settings on top of it. Uh, maybe some settings especially related to the editor, maybe the font size, etc. Or maybe some settings related to extensions which you have to apply for that project or the debug settings. So some custom settings, whatever you want to apply for your project, which is span across multiple folders, you can put them into a workspace and you can apply all that custom settings at one place. And when you save the workspace in VS Code, it will create dot .code workspace file that will actually nothing but like a definition of that workspace, what folders it contains and what settings it has. Let's see this practically with a small demo to get a better idea now. So let me navigate to Visual Studio Code. This is Visual Studio Code. And uh, before showing this, let me navigate to my desktop folder. There is a folder called demo which I created on my desktop. I will quickly use that for this example. Yeah. See here, there is a folder called demo. If I go inside, uh, let's assume I have a two folders here. So I will create one folder called frontend. Okay. Uh, assume that this folder contains uh, all the front-end development for my project. Now I will create a second folder here and I will name it like a backend. Assume all the backend coding is there. So these are two different folders which are part of the same project. Now I wanted to group all the settings for this folder or this entire project as a single place. So I have to go with a workspace option here. So if I go to my Visual Studio code, and when I go to the file menu, you see an option called add folder to workspace. Click that. I will navigate to the desktop and I will go to the demo. So first I will add the front end folder to my workspace. So I will hit S to add that. Once I do that, if I go here, you see in the explorer, there is a folder named front end. Okay. So right now this folder has nothing. So what I will do, I will try to create a sample.html page. Uh, and maybe in this page, I will try to say welcome to Wafa studies. Okay, so assume that's the UI. Okay. Now let's add another folder, which is a backend folder to this same workspace. I will go to the file, add folder to workspace, and I will select the backend and I will save it and let me hit the yes button. You see that backend folder also came and uh, maybe there also there is no file. So I will add maybe sample.py file some python file where i will simply print maybe hello hello world okay so this is good so i have two fo two folders added to my workspace and i said now this is these are part of workspace so that is a workspace so how to save this workspace to save this workspace go to the file you hit that save as button and maybe uh, at the demo folder level i want to save this okay so not like this so let me go to the file uh, save workspace as okay you have to select that option now at a demo folder level so I will name this as maybe my project my prog dot code code hyphen workspace so when I do that if I go to that demo folder you see that workspace file okay so basically next time when I double click this workspace it will directly open this whole workspace in a visual studio code okay and this workspace let me see if I can open in a text editor to show you that. Choose another option. Notepad. Just once. And now if you see, see I opened that workspace notepad here. If you see that it contains folders related details. So what folders are part of this workspace. So let me close that text file. And now uh, if I go back to my workspace, uh, you see my workspace name came here correctly. I can manage as, as I said, now I can apply the settings for these folders and I can manage everything at a workspace level. So what I will do now is, um, you see that font size in the python.sample.py file is something and sample.html both. So this is from the front end folder. This is from the uh, back end folder, but both the folders are part of the same workspace. Assume that the editor level settings I want to uh, control for this project. Maybe across the folders, font size should be always maybe 9. So let's how to control that setting for this whole workspace. So I will go to the settings. I will go to the settings uh, menu here. You see that workspace option now. So when you go to the workspace option, 
uh, under commonly used settings maybe here instead of 14 font size i will apply font size as a 9 for whole workspace level now when i do that when i when i did that if i go back you see the font size is very small i i i believe you guys cannot you guys cannot read it right now on the video because font size is very small so now i will make it font size maybe 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 30 okay now if i go back you see I am applying setting at a workspace level and it is applying settings for the both the files sample.html file and the uh, sample.py file which is on two different folders so that is the advantage so since now I made them like a part of container part of this whole container called workspace I can easily manage the settings so I shown a simple setting but you can manage debug settings extension settings and everything when you go to the settings you see so many varieties of the settings you can manage it not only that I can manage it at a file level also right now workspace level settings is 30 right so what i will do i will apply for the front end folder uh, file level settings were 9 okay and then uh, for back end folder file level settings are maybe maybe 25 now if i go here for the front end folder you see the font is very small because font size i made it 9 but when i go here you see a big size because i made the font size bigger for the uh, back end folder here which is 25 right and not only that whenever you change these settings right uh, whenever you add these settings you might have observed that it 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 created two folders called dot vs code so dot vs code is a special kind of a folder which will hold all your custom settings whatever you are doing it so right now i played with the font sizes so it would have created a settings file and inside the settings file it will highlight whatever the settings i added it so if i go if i open this vs code under the front end settings.json file says that font size 9 is the setting which I set now the same file if I open in the in the backend folder settings.json file here it says font size I set as a 25 so basically whatever the settings you do at a workspace level uh, those settings will come into a special folder called .vs code and you can check them in a visual way with editor fashion here not GUI like a JSON code you can see them so that's it in this video i i feel this video is helpful to you guys uh, uh, and one thing is to close this workspace always hit this close workspace button it will close the workspace and when you reopen the workspace you can double hit the, you can double click that it will open the workspace completely for you once again thank you for watching that's it in this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you will use these workspaces extensively in your work going forward thank you for watching have a nice day